What's going on YouTube? This is uh, part three questions. Uh, I figured I might as well do it while I'm on vacation on the beach because I love giving you guys a different background once in a while. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start with some easy questions. Um, and both of these came from my uh, wife. Uh, what is your favorite game and why? <sighs> Obviously that's an easy one. I'm about to go with The Last of Us. Best character development, probably in, in a couple years that I've actually been playing video games. I mean, that game came out, I wanna say 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. And I just, I still think it's it's got one of the best character developments known today. I mean, even in Last of Us 2, the character development with Ellie is just unbelievable. Um, and the gameplay was fantastic. I mean, there's a lot of other games, you know, that are top, probably top tier, but I, I'm just, I'm gonna have to say it, Last of Us, hands down, um, probably the best video game today. Uh, I will say, I will add something real quick. The, probably the funnest, video game I would have to say is Ghost I met a lot of people on Ghost um, that's my funnest for sure um, I've met a lot of my friends now and uh, yeah so favorite Last of Us funnest definitely I don't even know if funnest is a word um, but yeah I enjoyed Ghost a lot but best ah, hands down Last of Us who is your favorite video game player and why? Like, character, um, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna have to say, man, that's hard. Because besides, I hate I hate to be like, oh, you know, Joe and Ellie, you know, they're, they're one of my best. Ezio was really good from uh, Brotherhood Revelations and Assassin's Creed uh, 2. Um, they were, they were, Etsy was an exceptional character. He was also another good character development, you know, storyline. If you actually follow the storyline um, from the second to Brotherhood to Revelations, and progressively got older. I mean, it wasn't like he didn't show age. Like, so, man, that one's it's a tough one, and I'm probably still gonna have to stick with Ellie though as an all-time favorite yeah favorite because her that was my peak gaming was in like 2012 2013 i said from 12 to 15 was my peak gaming years and ellie's just she's one of them characters that like you see age very well um so i'm i'm probably gonna have to stick with ellie again I hate to do that, but it would have to, I would say it's top, it's tied between Ezio and Ellie. Um, Cause Ezio, again, you can see him aging as well, but he also develops new skills, develops new uh, relationships. And uh, you can see him develop over the years. And it, it's, it's, it's great to see video games do that. Um, and you know, we don't get that much variant uh very much anymore and uh, that's something that i think they need to bring back is character development from years uh and we do we are starting to see that a little bit now in modern warfare um you know soap and all of them coming back but like it's still one of them things is like naughty dog did it ubisoft is doing it keep doing it so yeah i'm still going to say it's tied for first with Ezio. Ellie but if I had to choose one out of the two it's it's gonna 100% be Ellie now let's get into a little bit more difficult question here uh, this one's from Mike um, how did you meet everyone in Colossal Gaming so this is why I did a part three it's a long 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 question so I'm gonna try to keep it as short and sweet as I can and you know kind of go from there so 
more or less, uh, let's start, I'm gonna start kind of from the top to bottom. Um, I met Adam, who's also asked questions in part one and part two. Uh, I met him actually through a friend. He was a neighbor of mine. So I, I met him through a friend who came down to my house and I ended up meeting Adam and his sister. Well, it's just kind of went from there and I was like, you know, I play video games and stuff like this. Well, we started playing video games together and we really got into Black Ops 2. That's when our peak gaming started. Excuse me, I needed a drink. And uh, we ended up, which is crazy to me, we ended up meeting, uh, trolling a lot on that game. And we met this uh, woman called Cool Chick. She's from Canada. And we ended up gaming with her a little bit by trolling her. So we ended up, <laughs> we ended up friending her, or she friended us. Excuse me, there's a jet going by. So more or less, I'll continue after that nice little cut because there was a jet that just went by. Um, more or less, there was a uh, ghost was coming out, and we friended her, or she friended us, and ended up. I was, I met Mad Russian, like I was one of the first things ever, and it was the funniest. It was the funniest interaction because we we got ghost. This is when the PS4 was coming out. And everyone was gonna get this PS4 and all this. So we ended up, it was on PS3 still when Ghost came out, obviously. So it came out, we got Ghost. I'm gonna cool chick's lobby. She said, I'm gonna invite a, a couple friends if that's okay. I was like, yeah, that's fine. Well, then here comes this mad Russian 100. He, he showed up. And we, we played probably two, three games together. And cool chick's like, all right, gotta go and left so back in the day you would leave a lobby well it would promote someone else's party leader so me and mad russian just sitting in this lobby like at the start a match screen and we're just like it was it was quiet and we're like it was i don't know how to describe it, it was such an awkward silence there's no one's talking and I, I just go, so, wanna, wanna play a few more? Yeah, that's fine. So, hear me and Mad Russian start playing this Call of Duty Ghost together. And it was just, it was so funny because it was just an awkward silence for like, I don't know, it felt like a minute, a minute or two, it was probably only like a few seconds. We are just sitting in the lobby together. So, after we got talking and gaming and stuff, he invited me with uh, Crocketeer, which is Jack Crockett, who is Uzi Smoothie now, um, Mr. Camper, who is still Mr. Camper. I think it was Mr. Camper 23. And so we ended up, that's how I met them guys, uh, which is Mike McLosh. So we started gaming, it. Uh, I started gaming with them. Well, it came to the point where there was clan wars and I ended up meeting a lot of different people through that as well. Um, it's that one girl Gigi. I'll wish out her out. I met her through hardcore, uh, I want to say it was like hardcore Stonehaven search and rescue. So we was trying to get points for our clan and I, know, I just thought it was cool because like 
she was always the last alive. So <laughs> for some reason, I just kept following her around and collecting her tag. Cause I sucked at hardcore. Well, that's just how me and her met. So I mean, obviously she's always gonna be part of Colossal. Um, in my my opinion, she's always gonna be part of Colossal. So that's how I met Gigi. That's how I met uh, Uzi Smoothie. That's how I met uh, Mr. Camper, um, Mad Russian, and Adam, which is Swag Dog. He hasn't played in a while. Obviously my cousin. Um, let's see. How many stories can I actually make here? So, another one. I got another story for you. So, it was Modern Warfare 2019. I'm gaming, I'm gaming. Well, we was on um, Control C side. I won't, I won't forget this day, dude. I was playing ranked Control C side. And I met... So, I think mad russian was friends with them and i don't know if he like joined my lobby or how it all happened but i remember um i met nando and it was control c side um on black ops 3 and uh everyone left the lobby but it was me and him it was 2v 2v4 and we ended up winning that game on control two versus four okay and i don't know if you guys understand like control but that's that's difficult and that was Nando. I met uh, Tokes, as you would hear him. And I just friended him. I was like, hey man, that was, that was fun. Like, can't believe we just did that. Well, here we ha ended up having like a mutual friend, which, you know, that, that can't happen. It, it's, a, it's a thing. So I met him on Black Ops 3 Seaside. So we started gaming there. Um, before all that though, I guess I could mention my wife. I met her, I just knew her since pretty well middle school and her brother. Um, I didn't know her brother right away, but I just started streaming just for fun. And her brother would pop in the stream, which was, <laughs> it was a fun time. Um, let's see. So through Nanda then, uh, Modern Warfare 19, that's when I met, uh, his brother, Jake, who is Glizzy Sensei now, I met him through Modern Warfare 19 because we were like, we were balling out, dude. We were, we were so good on Modern Warfare 19 and I just needed a few extra players and I was just like, hey, Nanda, do you know anybody? He's like, oh, yeah, I got a brother that might join. So his brother joined, got talking with him. We, we have a cool video up on my YouTube. I think it's still up there. Uh, it's when we're, we won a hard point, like right at the end. We literally won right at the end. Well, that's, I don't know. It was 250 to 249. It was 2v2, it was fun as shit. I love that video. So that's how I met Jake. And now we're like, you know, duos the whole way. Um, it's crazy, there's a like a rental truck just driving by. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. It's just wild to me. Um, and a car, a car's going down. Like, what is going on? Bro, like, what is this? Huh? There's like a car. There's a car and a, 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 a moving van just driving down the road. Or the boardwalk. Uh, I don't know. That's crazy to me. Um... Um, Aphrodisiac, we'll never forget him. Um, we was looking for Apex like players, and uh, Wade Crosby, which was Cowboy. Um, he uh, he's the one who introduced me to Aphrodisiac, and I call him Afro, call him Chuck. Um, I think he goes on uh, Afro from his YouTube and his. Which I do think he changed his name. Um, I think his, I believe, yeah, I believe his Twitch is still Aphrodisiac. So shout out to him. Um, I met him because of Apex, and I, I I started playing Apex with this man, and instantly I was like, that guy's a leader. Like I want him on. Like he's a hundred percent. He wanted to join Colossal because of 
what Cowboy was saying and stuff, that was an instant recruit right there. Like there was no way around it. Because we're trying to we're trying to grow and we're still trying to grow. Um so yeah. Um this man I just can't believe like so what I remember from that was we got into a lobby with him and I think it was me, Alex. No, it might have been me and Wade. And I was I, I'm good at first person shooter. Or used to be. And I'm over there and I'm frying. Wade dies. And this is before the uh, respawn beacons and stuff. And he goes down and we're trying to save him and stuff. Then I end up going down. This man, like, almost, he literally carried us for, like, three or four games in a row. But that one game that we popped off on together, the communication, you know when you meet it, meet somebody, it's, like, it's kind of quiet. So, <clears throat> it was like that for, like, the first game. But, like, the second or third game, our communication was just on point. We were pushing teams together. We were doing things together. And I think, I want to say by our third game, we probably won two in a row, which on Apex back in the day, I think was, you know, it, it was, you know, that's a, that's an accomplishment. And it was just the communication was so on point that you just couldn't, you couldn't deny that there was chemistry there. And I just want to shout him out again because Aphrodisiac, man, he is, he is top tier. Um, love that man to death. Uh, see, we got, I went through Afro, Mad, Camper, Jack, Swag Dog. I didn't, I didn't really talk about Swag Dog, so more or less, we're just literally neighbors, best friends, shit like that. We ride crotch rockets together and all that, so I mean, I just can't, he's my buddy. Uh, there's no other way around that. Um, Hunter, Assassin, he's just my cousin, like, I got I got too many stories for them guys. Um, Black Ops 2 is definitely my favorite one with them guys though, because we stayed up all night playing zombies. Um, I'm with you, Nando, Jake, um, Jinx Kitty. Um, I pretty well. It was a a friend that I graduated with. He ended up mentioning her name, went to her page, talked to her. She joined. Um, she's an incredible human being as well. She does uh, a lot of 3D prints. Uh, a lot of her stuff is incredible to look at. I love her 3D prints. Uh, I still gotta buy one off of her. Actually, uh, I want to charge her. I want to charge her so bad from that. Um, and she paints them. I'm assuming she paints them. Um, but I know she's she streams a lot. She was um, she's on Destiny a lot there for a while, and then she was on. Um, that Valheim, I think it was called. We're gonna cut again. There's a jet. because she was really good at graphic design. Um, so yeah, Megan, Megan was just added on. She was, uh, she helped me set up Streamlabs and stuff, uh, which I also knew her for school as well. Um, so we pretty well added her as a graphic designer. Um, I say hired, it's like we paid her. So more or less, we added uh, Megan because she was the graphics designer. Um, ended up, she helped me with my stream labs, audio and stuff, Discord. She was huge on the, our Discord. Um, so yeah, like I said, we don't got we don't got a lot of members, but we got enough. Um, obviously, all my family is what I consider, um, and obviously all of Colossal's family. 
Um, so obviously, Lil C, I added her because, you know, she's my daughter. <laughs> Just throw her out there, she's my daughter. That's why she's on the team. Um, Evan, which would be Ethan's son. Um, Mike's kids, obviously, everyone's family is always gonna, I'm gonna try to involve them as much as I can. Um, and we're still growing. I mean, we're not, I'm not, I'm not ever gonna give up on this. Like, for me, CG is for life. And, you know, it, it's just one of them things that, like, I got it imprinted. I got my hat. You know, I'm always wearing it. Always representing. My bars, CG, like, I'm, I'm just all about it. We're still growing. Uh, I'm not gonna give up on it. That's for sure. Um, if I ever hit the lottery, you better watch out because I'm like I'm gonna go all out as much as I can. But yeah, that's pretty much how I met everybody. Um, I met a couple people through stream as well. Um, but for me, it's like I know uh, it's that one girl, Gigi and Marcus and all uh, Pocahontas. They're all like fam, the fam clan. But I always consider them CG because we play with them. Um, it's not like they have to be a, a part of it, but to me, they have a, they always have a special place for me, so, um, I remember, I think Marcus, I, I do remember sending him a, uh, VR, so I don't know if he still uses it, but if not, I, it's okay with it. Marcus, love you, brother. Um, <laughs> I just, I didn't have room for it. I don't play it. And VR made me sick, so I just like, nah, he's part of the family, I'm sending it to him. Uh, I still got shirts I gotta send out to them guys, but I don't know if you guys understand like shipping costs and stuff for across the borders. Dude, it is so crazy how much it costs and how much time it takes. Um, but I do got shirts I gotta send out yet. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much how I met most of CG. Um, I don't think I'm missing anybody. That's still like with us. I don't know. That's what I got. <laughs> that's that's what I got. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anybody. If I am, sorry. Um, let's see here. I got another question. And we are looking to recruit as well, but again, it's one of them things where it's like we're trying to help each other, so as much as we can. It's we're just a group or a community, that's all it is. Um So I do got one more question here. Let me find it. Um, this one's from Angelo again. He sent one earlier. I think it was in part one or part two. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was part two. Um, if there was a complete meltdown of the U.S. government, what would your bug out plan or survival plan look like? So I love this question because this is going to be put out on the public now. So I, I don't want to give out too many secrets. However, I do want to show you um, something that's funny as could be. Let's see, where is it at here? Let me look. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for a group chat that I have. Uh, let's see. Um, so more or less, I'll talk while I'm trying to look for it. Uh, more or less, there it is. I literally have a chat. It's called Apocalyptic. Um, more or less my plan is very simple um, I'm moving north um, and like people's like mind blown because a lot of people that I talk to want to move south where it's warmer and all this extra like okay I get it it's warmer down here it's nicer down here I understand but the abundance of food that would be up north is a lot more than this you know like so that's just I'm not gonna go deep into it because like I said, I, I got a lot of uh, confidence in my plan. I've thought about it for a couple of years now. Um, but yeah, my plan would be to move north, probably Maine, 
closer to shore where you get fish. Fish would be protein. And I keep all, I always tell people like, you know how much a, how much a moose would be able to feed your family? Like a family of four, if you shoot a moose and you actually be able to like track it down and actually skin it and eat it, like bro, a moose is, that's a, that's a lot of food for a, I'd say a couple, at least a month, two months. Like, like moose get big. So yeah, my plan would be new, moving north. Um, but that's all I'm gonna say because <laughs> I got other I got other plans. But it's just one of the things where I just want to keep it down low because I do think that it's possible. Um, there's a couple more ways than like people think like oh nuclear attacks and stuff like that stuff don't bother me. Like I understand like you know nobody wants to nuke another place. Like said, it's just plain and simple. But I, I ain't gonna say anything else. That way it's not out in public. Um, but there is a couple other things I could say. So uh, Angelo, when you watch this, if you wanna ask me privately, I got I got a couple more answers for you and I, I'd be interested in, in giving you that chat um, because there's a lot more that can go into this. But I wanna just keep it as down low as possible. But yeah. That my plan would be moving north. Maine would be what I'm looking at. Maine would be the area that I would be probably settling down in. And so is some of these other people that I'm in a chat with. So that's that. There is one more question, but I can't do that now because I can't remember what it is. It's at my desk at the house. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a different view. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that piece will be stitched together at some point. So, uh, yeah, peace out. I love you guys. And thank you for the Q&As. And I hope to do this more often. I, lo I love answering questions. So, love you guys. Peace out. Take care.